Now we turn our attention to the base plate, which has been stored outside for some time. As can be seen, it needs attention. The procedures that follow also apply for regrouting of existing pump base plates. The underside of the base plate should be inspected and any additional grout pour holes, vent holes, or jack screw holes installed. It is imperative that each compartment of the pump base plate have at least one grout fill hole and an adequate number of vent holes. Vertical and horizontal edges of the base plate that will come in contact with the chalk fast red should be ground to a minimum of a half inch radius to reduce the possibility of stress concentrations in the grout. The underside of the base plate should be sandblasted to white metal in order to ensure a proper bond to the epoxy grout. Care should be taken to prevent the sandblasted surface from becoming contaminated by oil, water, etc. The elapsed time between sandblasting the pump base and the actual grouting should not be so long as to allow the sandblasted surface to bloom with surface rust 